from the street, I'm from the street. And only somebody who wasn't would think it was something to glorify. I grew up popping in the Bronx, so for me, popping was a thing, and drugs is not an option for me, period. When, when people were out doing drugs, I thought about it. I made a split decision in my head. I said, I could do this, which is what I wanted to do, dance, or I could do that. Uh, now, while watching this uh, Jordan 9 video, check out the guy, it's to, I guess that's camera right, to Jordan's right in the video. He's wearing a red sweater, uh, it's rather tight. Um, his name's Dar Darren Henson. He's actually the choreographer of the video. And you'll notice that, um, well, he's just better than everybody, I guess. He's just, he's just a better dancer than everybody there. I've choreographed for such artists as Michael Jackson, Prince, uh, NSYNC, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Vanessa Williams, Donna Summers. George Michaels, I mean, the list goes on and on. We won the MTV Music Award for a video called Bye 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 um, that was done uh, for NSYNC. And what I found was that body of work that I did then was from the efforts that I created then with the energy that I had then. So that's the best high I could have is knowing that I can do whatever I want to do in my life. I can change my life and make it even better and I can help change other people's lives. For me, dance was used as a tool to make me feel good about myself. So it's what I focused on. Not everything was great in my life at the time. My, my family was broken up. There were people on drugs that I knew in my family. There were people selling drugs in the street. Friends of mine that were going to jail, friends of mine that were dying. These are your options. Which one do you want? You know, sometimes I talk to people and I say, close your eyes and think about what your life is like. Really feel it. Close your eyes and think about what your life is like now and if you don't change it. And then go into 10 years, 20 years, and even far as 30 years, not changing your life, not doing what you want to do, not ever um, being um, successful, feeling like a failure. And I say, now don't open your eyes. Now think about being successful. Think about making the right choices. Think about living drug-free. Think about all the money you've made. Think about the money that you've given to other people to help them in their lives. And I say, now open your eyes. Now the negative has not happened. So right now you have the choice to never allow it to happen. And you can choose that good over the bad. I think that's a very strong campaign because saying no is very, very powerful. Because saying no means saying yes to life. Saying no means saying yes to success. Saying no means success and life for the future and creation. So it's not just saying no, it's saying yes to all the great things that you can call to your life. Five, six, seven.